Hello, my name is Stephen Mayu, and this is my video series on practical JavaScript, where I walk you through the algorithm challenges at freecodecamp.com. In this video, we're doing challenge number 11 in the intermediate section, and it's called Convert HTML Entities. And as usual, let's dive into the instructions first, so we know exactly what we are dealing with. Convert the characters, um, okay, this is an ampersand, <clears throat> Uh, less than, greater than, uh, quote, double quote, and apostrophe, in a string to their corresponding HTML entities. Okay, um, first of all, what the heck is an HTML entity? Well, um, when you write a, a, a website in HTML, uh, there are some reserved characters that you can't really use, um, and you have to use these uh, HTML entities like this code in, in place uh, of, of that character because it's reserved. Um, there's also a number of uh, other characters that aren't available on your keyboard, so uh, you can use the code um, uh, for, for those special characters instead. And you can see here, if I, um, if I uh, zoom in, Oop. there we go, yep. Yeah. You can see here, um, Got these special characters, and there's all these uh, like different quotes right here, and uh, I'm getting some different things when I hover over. But but uh, what you see right there um, below each of the symbol, that's the HTML entity uh, that we have to you know work with. So um, you know do some research, um, you know check out this uh, website. It's available directly on the um, from the HT, um, free code camp. Uh, um, a challenge right there, uh, HTML entities, and it's going to be uh, very useful for you. Um, they're recommending the replace string replace method, and uh, that's that's pretty good um, using regular expressions and the um, uh, replace method. I'm going to do it a little bit differently. Uh, I'm going to create an object literal and um, and then use uh, some array methods. Uh, so that should be kind of a um, hint. Um, to, to how I'm going to handle this challenge. I'm going to uh, take this string, um, create, uh, create it and make it into an array, and then I'm going to return a new array. So you can probably already guess where I'm going with this. But anyway, uh, enough of that. Uh, let's jump right into the uh, text editor. I got my new JavaScript file, 11htmlentities.js, and uh, I already went ahead and embedded that on line 11 of my HTML file, example.html file. Um, so first thing I want to do is um, I, I already know that I want to uh, work with um, with uh, an object literal, and the object literal is going to contain um, uh, the HTML entities. Uh, they're going to be the keys or the properties um, of of this object, and then the values uh, are going to be the the actual code um, that um, uh, that you would use in an HTML document. And uh, I've already copied it. Um, I didn't want to waste any time. You know, I didn't want you to watch me type it out. So let me just go ahead and paste it in there. Okay, um, let me fix the indentation here. Always keep your your indentation nice and neat. I keep everything uh, like this um, you know, looking good. It makes it easier to read. You're definitely a professional coder if you can do that. Uh, okay, so I've created this um, variable and it's an object literal. Uh, object literal uh, has curly braces um, and we have the keys of the properties and they are represented in the uh, um, and they uh, are, like, are like a pair. So this is a key value pair, uh, and, and there it is. Um, so we've got the ampersand, and this is the code for that HTML property. It's in a string. Uh, all of the values are in a string. Um, uh, but you see here that I've got the um, double quote and the apostrophe. Uh, this little backslash right here is super important. Um, because we need to escape that character in order for it to work. If, if I did something like this, um, that, that might work. Um, but if I 
we're trying to do it with the apostrophe, the single quote. You can see my text editor is blowing up and it's giving me all sorts of like crazy errors. So in this case, I definitely need it. Um, so I'm just going to escape both of those characters. I don't want to risk any sort of funky errors. Um, and there we have it. So um, earlier, um, I kind of was foreshadowing my um, my uh, strategy for this problem. Uh, I'm not going to use any um, any regular expressions. I'm not a big fan of regular expressions anyway. Um, I'm not going to use uh, reg regular expressions or the replace method. Um, I'm going to make this um, argument, this string, uh, into an array, and then I'm going to return a new array, and uh, and then of course join it back into a string. So um, I'm going to say string str split. Okay, just like we normally do. Now it's an array. And I'm going to call the good old map method. Map. And function. I'm going to say char for character. Okay. And okay, I'm going to say return entities char or char. Okay, so um, from earlier videos, um, you you learned how to access the values uh, of an object using dot or bracket notation. Uh, if you're going to use a, like a, a variable, something like this, um, you're going to want to use a um, uh, the, the bracket notation. So char right here, uh, this would be each individual uh, character. Uh, in the string, and uh, and that uh, and that would you know be itself a string, and um, and then um, and, and that's one way to access um, the 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 properties, the keys. I don't know why I'm mumbling tonight. That that would be one way to access the the, the different like um, uh, data in object literals uh, or objects um, in general, um, but. Let's say, for instance, okay, we're running the map, and it's going to iterate through each character of this uh, array of characters, this array of like, um, you know, uh, letters and symbols. Okay, D would would go uh, in the first iteration. So essentially, this is like uh, the first iteration. It's like running D. Okay, now this is going to look for a key by the name of D in the entity's object. And guess what? It's not there. It has an ampersand. It has a less than, greater than, double quote, single quote, or apostrophe. It's just not there. So if there, if you're trying to access a, a key or a property in an object, but it's not in that object, it's going to return undefined undefined. And remember that undefined is a falsy value. It's, it's falsy in JavaScript. So that's where this um, kind of OR operator comes into play. So it's telling me, hey, return either the character from the string or the value from the corresponding key in the entities object. So in the first iteration, we have D. Does that key exist in this object? No, it doesn't. So this returns undefined. That's false. So then we're going to return char because it's not a falsy value. In this case, char is just the uh, single, um, the single character string D, and that's a truthy value. So we're going to return that to the to the um, to the new array. And then we keep doing this. There's no key O, there's no key L or C or E, there's no key space, so we're going to return that. But wait, we finally reach um, uh, a special symbol, an HTML entity. Okay, entities, char, okay, and uh, this ampersand, once we iterate to this point of the string, okay, it exists. And look, now we have access to its value. So it's not, we're going to return undefined now because this 
right here, this character is a key of the entity's object, and it's going to return the value to us instead of undefined. So in that case, instead of returning the character, we're going to return the value from um, this property in the entity's object. Okay, so um, let's just go ahead and save that. Uh, check how much time I had. Okay, plenty of time. Got my example.html file open. Okay, get my JavaScript console going. <coughs> Excuse me. Clear that out and refresh. Okay, so it looks like it worked. Um, I have uh, an array of characters and uh, there's my HTML entity. All that I have to do is just join this array of characters into a string and that is easy peasy. We have done that numerous times. So I'm just going to join it just like this using good old fashioned method chaining. Save that, refresh the page, and there we have it. There is our string and we have replaced the ampersand with the proper HTML entity. Uh, and that's it. So uh, let me go and uh, copy this. Okay. We'll go to the Free Code Camp website and hopefully I get a beautiful uh, success message. I wonder what it's going to say this time. All right. I also live dangerously. Cool. Okay, so our code works and uh, we didn't use any regular expressions. Uh, I don't like those. They're kind of icky. Um, basically, we take the string and we make it into an array with split and I want to return a new array. So I use the map function and we're quite familiar with this bad boy right now. And uh, for the new array, I'm either gonna return the value um, if this object exists in the entity's object. If it doesn't exist, it will return undefined and we will just return uh, the character um, that, that, that um, that, that we're iterating on. And uh, of course we join it all back together in a string by just chaining that on uh, right there at the end. Okay, so uh, that's all for this video. Uh, thank you very much for watching as usual. If you found it helpful, please uh, like it, share it, uh, comment, uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel. That would really help me out. It would really help you out. And it would help the fine folks who make freecodecamp.com available to tens of thousands, I don't know, hundreds of thousands of, uh, of uh, campers world wide. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for improvement, please write them down there below. You see it right there? Please write it down here uh, in the comments and I will be sure to uh, respond as quickly as possible. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.